everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purpoffinium here, and today we are playing some more Balloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. So today, uh, as you can see by this, I'm gonna give you three seconds. Guess what this challenge is if you haven't read the title, which you obviously have. Um, so I guess you already know what the challenge is. Uh, I'm assuming from this plus the um, uh, title, you can probably figure out what we're doing today. We're doing the Dungeon Train Challenge. So if you look at this map, we're gonna head in for a second. I'm not gonna start the game yet, but if you take a look at the map, you'll notice one thing that- one of the reasons I find this map super cool, I love it so much, is because there was like items here. There's the spider wand, there's the arrow of frozen ice, there's the power ring of strength of pierce, there's like the thief's dagger, there's two swords that both sort of resemble like the amazing the epic sword. I don't know if one of them's meant to be this one more- like this one on the right more so than the others. And then we have the Cosmic Gauntlet over here. It's really cool. There is some other things, obviously, like there's a spear and some basic helmets. But overall, it looks really cool. And, uh, well, there's also the crown. But the crown's not that important. Because it's not actually a trinket. But a lot of this stuff is actual items. So I basically had the idea. Wait a sec. We've Dungeon Finn. Now he's Dungeony. Let's use him with those items. So if we take a look quickly at Dungeon Finn's setup right now. Um, ba -ba -doo 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 -doo. Let's take a look. We, or not we, you will see that we have, first of all, the amazing, or unimaginably amazing sword. I always call it the amazingly epic sword. I don't know why. Uh, so it's an interesting sword I haven't used in a while. Basically, its basic stats are increased attack speed by quite a bit. Um, whereas its ability, its a special property, um, transforms into a slightly slow but much more powerful shark sword. I think it's like plus like five damage, but it's half the speed, I think. Uh, maybe a little less than half the speed, so it's pretty good overall. In most cases, I think it's going to be better, or definitely in this case. Uh, then we have, obviously, we have the powering of Strength, the powering of Pierce, the Thief's Dagger, or Thief King's Dagger, okay, I didn't know Thief King was a person. And then finally we have the Cosmic Gauntlet, even though, you know, it's only one gauntlet, but whatever, with six fingers, I always loved it, that addition. You don't believe me, double check, count for yourself. There's one, two, three, four, five, six fingers. I guess if you don't include the thumb, there's only five, but you know what I mean. And then because otherwise Dungeon Finn doesn't have camera protection, I'm also quickly gonna throw in just just a little bit of addition of um uh, some uh, night some night vision x-ray goggles, because you know, you can't go on an adventure in a dungeon without some good old x-ray goggles. Uh, but yeah, because he has fire attacks, so we will be able to pop lead. Uh, but he actually can't pop camo normally, so I want him to actually be able to solo. So we're only going to be playing on hard because, well, if you haven't actually seen, uh, with, like, the best trinkets, he completely flopped on extreme mode on this map. So, I'm hoping he'll at least be able to beat- oh, his range is so small. I'm hoping he'll still at least be able to beat, um, well, I'm hoping he'll still at least be able to beat hard mode? But I'm not actually all that confident. It is more than possible that he will just straight up lose on this map. But yeah, so the only one of these that's a little more, you have to stretch your imagination a bit, is the unimaginably amazing sword. Uh, because both of these swords here, let me use Max as my pointer, uh, this sword over here and this sword over here, neither of them actually look quite like it. Uh, personally, I think the one on the left looks more like it, it's just missing the blue gem. Other than that, it's pretty similar. And obviously the tip's broken, but they're all very old and damaged. So I'm willing to stretch my imagination a little bit and assume that they are both the, um... Well, that they're both, or at least one of them, is the amazing, or unimaginably amazing sword. Don't know why I can't get that name to stick, but I just can't. We're gonna get some more upgrades, though, because um, we actually need some upgrades. Including Fire Crown, or Battle Moon, all of these cool upgrades. Because, yeah, I mean, I feel like, honestly, Dungeon Finn's just the perfect character to use for this. Because, obviously... He's Dungeon Finn, that's his little point. This is a map, he's traveling a dungeon, collecting the loot. So how about he's only allowed to use the loot that's here? Plus, once again, a little bit of help from some x-ray goggles, because you always need some x-ray goggles. What is that noise? The noise of the fire cramp. Does it not sound like something just banging against metal? Shield bash. He has shield bash. What am I thinking? Hey, doesn't the fire cramp sound like metal banging against something? I wonder if that's actually the sound of the metal banging against something. Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Whatever, this is not going well. I'm just looking at this and I'm getting scared that we won't even be able to beat hard mode. 
Or will we actually have to do this on normal mode for this challenge to be doable? He's not that weak. I don't think he's that weak, but he's not doing that well. Power Moon! Dungeon Finn, your voice is better than C4 Charlie, so I'm not going to comment too much on it. C4 Charlie, I hate, I hate the voice. It's so irritating. I comment it every time I use him. He sounds like a gremlin disguised as a little... I don't know. Disguised as whoever C4 Charlie is. A baby monkey? I don't know. He looks shorter than the other monkeys. Maybe that's my imagination, but he really does look shorter than the other monkeys. Yeah, I don't know. C4 Charlie, he creeps me out. His voice is just not right. Dungeon Finn, is it... I'm starting to wonder now. Obviously, they're the same person. Is Dungeon Finn's voice actor and voice lines different than Finn? Or am I just being completely, just like, a, I don't know, confused or something? Are their voice lines the same? Or not their voice lines the same, but, like, is the voice actor the same? It sounds like a different voice to me. Am I the only one who's noticing that? I don't know, it sounds like a different voice. Oh, and then the purple balloon, the pew 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 of the battle moon. I love this. The sound effects are actually really nice for Dungeon Finn, because they actually work pretty well with what his attacks actually are. It still bothers me that he has the giant black glove and does nothing with it. All he does is use it to hold a sword. You know, can't let my hand get warm, have to have my hand glove. Actives a massive burst of damaging fire. I want to get his level 7 ability. We're still so far away though from actually getting these heroes to level 7, which kind of sucks. I'm trying to do the quest, sort of, but yeah, I'm not doing that well. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day today. When you're watching this, it will probably be Monday. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. Um, yeah, enjoy your day. Have an awesome life. I'm gonna say this now because I keep actually, I haven't actually said in the past couple videos. And you know what, it usually works better in like the middle slash beginning anyways. Um, well, you know, if you're watching this and you're enjoying it, do you want to give the video a like? Because, you know, I don't know. I find, personally, I kind of like giving videos likes because it's easy to do. It's it's a pretty easy thing to do. And I only usually remember when someone actually asks me, usually in the middle of it. So, yeah, I'm asking you now so you don't forget. Give the video a like if you want to. It's completely optional. What is going on with that battle move? It's just shooting, like, massive beams everywhere. I guess because the battle move can't pop lead, but was it shooting through the lead balloons? so confused. Whatever, it's not that important. Maybe it was targeting camo balloons, but it couldn't pop the camo balloons. That's my only theory. No, it's lead balloons. It's definitely lead balloons that do that. Okay, I don't know. I don't have an explanation in the slightest. And then we have the shark, which I don't think can pop lead. Obviously, I think generally Dungeon Finn has lead popping abilities. They're not the greatest, but they do work. See, there we go. There's our shark ability. It looks pretty funny, him holding a giant shark. And I'm not going to lie, I actually think it fits way better for Dungeon Finn's character um, than the sword. Also, it makes the glove make more sense. You gotta, you're gotta, you bashing someone with a giant animal rather than, hey, I'm holding a sword. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, again, again. Oh, lives. We have lives. Okay. This is not looking good. Not looking good in the slightest. If we lose this, I'm going to do it on normal mode. Well, no, I won't do it on normal because we know for a fact we'll beat normal mode because we've already beat in round 30. Do, did I really have to do this on normal mode? I'm hoping that was this, like, random event. It's not going to be that bad in the future. Shark, shark, you're so much better for this. Don't create a massive regen farm. Don't create a massive regen farm. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. That's right. Those are ceramics. Really? Round 40? That did not go well in the slightest. Okay, so I do actually have another plan for this. Because originally I was like, oh yeah, this is, uh, I'm not super confident this is gonna work. So the backup plan is because there's actually two items that are exclusive for Ice King. Uh, we're also actually gonna be using, you know, go figure. We're gonna be using Ice King, because why wouldn't we be using Ice King? So he's gonna be our second competitor. Uh, if he does better, I'll be incredibly shocked. Like, really shocked. He probably won't do better. But yeah, so he has his spider wand over here. The, um, the, yeah, the spider one. This, I was like, hey, is there some special name for it? No? Well, then okay. First off, we have to, un no. We have to unequip stuff from Dungeon Finn, wherever Dungeon Finn is. We need to steal this, and we need to steal this, and we need to steal this. He can't equip thief staggers, I don't think, but I'm gonna take it anyways, because why wouldn't I? I should have just gone backwards. That probably would have been way faster. Whatever. Ice King, your potential is here. You only have a rare one, though, so I'm not confident he's gonna do better. 
My expectation is that he'll do far worse. If he does better, I will be pleasantly surprised, Ice King. Honestly, I would be really impressed if Ice King does better here. I guess you can leave your prediction. You already know how well Dungeon Pin did, but what do you think? Do you think Ice King's gonna do better? Or do you think he's gonna do far, far worse? Pretty confident he's gonna do worse, but I don't know. Because like Arrows are frozen ice and all that stuff, that's, uh, that's pretty good. It does a pretty good job. Pretty significant. Obviously, it unlocks the upgrade, but it also gives him plus four range and one damage to frozen balloons. It's pretty useful, especially when he starts freezing Moabs and that stuff. It's a pretty good trinket. Uh, beyond that, we have the Cosmic Gauntlet, and I think that's it. Part of me feels like I should give him an extra trinket, so here's the thing. He currently can't pop white balloons. So, theoretically speaking, I could use, like, Tuxedo Jake to give him white popping power, and I think I will try to do that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to Tuxedo Jake quickly, because we have him equipped, I think. We do have Tuxedo Jake equipped, right? Yeah. I'm gonna unequip all of his things, not that it really matters, because he won't be attacking. And I'm just gonna shove him with discounts so we can actually afford the upgrade, because, well, he's expensive and he needs his discounts. Ugh. I just hope the cheapest upgrade isn't gonna be something interfering. But yeah, so that's my plan, is that we're just gonna make sure Tuxedo Jake is as cheap as possible to buy. And then we're just gonna get all of his upgrades. Okay, what is the super rare discount? This is like trivia for you guys. What is the super rare dis discount item? Pretty sure there's one for each tier. So that was the epic, was the soul stone. I'm gonna get back to that. Rare, I know it's the egg, right? The upgrades are 5% cheaper. See, we're gonna get all of these. Every single one, you're gonna be as cheap as possible. The uncommon, which was the uncommon? Was there an uncommon one? I feel like there was still. But I don't know which. It wasn't the pretzel. Was there an uncommon one? See, I'm trying so hard to remember this. Or super rare? Was there a super rare one? Um, my brain is not remembering. There has to be one, right? There was definitely a discount. What was the discount item, though? You know what? I can't think of any others. I think we have most of them. I just realized we're not using the coin purse. I'm gonna throw that in. Let's get back into this. Ice King. Just don't die before the white balloons will come, okay? We need a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Okay, we'll see. Ice King. Okay, his range is significantly better. That's a good start. Then I'm immediately gonna go in for Tuxedo Jake. I know technically gives a money discount, but we did afford all of, um, uh, all of his upgrades anyway. So what do we need for Inspiring Melody? We need Turn It Up and Owl Allegro Temp. Oh, but these increase attack speed and range. So what do we do? We can't just give him a straight up range buff and attack speed buff, right? That would be unfair. It won't be fair to the challenge. Then again, I mean, Dungeon Finn does have a significantly better weapon. Do I just do it? Part of me feels like I should, because otherwise it's just not fair, because he straight up can't pop white or zebra balloons. It just doesn't work. Um. Theoretically, if I had lots of money, I could use a different tower that would pop insignificant amounts of balloons. But there isn't actually any other tower that doesn't pop any balloons. Hmm. Um, I think we're just gonna... Do we just accept it? The thing is, realistically, we won't be able to... What I was saying is, technically speaking, we could go for catchy tunes. But I don't think we can afford that in time. And then we could use, like, Marshland, so we wouldn't actually be giving an attack speed. We could do a very complicated setup. But there just straight up isn't enough money for that to work, so instead, Ice King, you're gonna get an attack speed boost, okay? He's gonna have a little bit higher range and a little bit higher attack speed. Deal with it, it won't make a difference, I promise. I really do promise, it will not make a difference, he's not beating this, but if he does, if you're like, oh, that's cheating, whatever, I'm sorry. It's the only way to make him actually do something. You didn't want me to give him just straight up penguin armies, did you? I figured not. Why did I click that? Wait, what did I actually buy? I did buy the money upgrade. Whatever. I mean, I guess I can't... Stop that. Yeah. I think we need some Ice King upgrades. He's not doing too well. He's not doing too well at all. I guess theoretically I could have just done this with Tuxedo Jake. Here's the thing. When Ice King died... Oh no, because Tuxedo Jake doesn't have the trinkets anymore. I was gonna say when Ice King dies, we can just swap him out for Tuxedo Jake, and that would probably do it. Um, but I don't know. I guess I guess that wouldn't actually work. We're not gonna afford this anyways, will we? No, we just straight up won't. <laughs> Even if I go for like all the money making, there's no way this is gonna work. Like this is so scuffed now. I'm like, oh, it'll be okay. It won't be that big of a difference. 
Well, now it's a pretty big difference, and even if it wasn't a pretty big difference, it doesn't really matter because you won't afford the thing anyways. Not working at all, at all, at all, at all. Not to mention Ice King's still leaking lives, which isn't very good. Okay, we need $2,962. I love it how discounts work in this game. It's You don't see in Bloons games any numbers that don't e like aren't either multiples of 5 or 10. Which I guess all multiples of 10 are multiples of 5. So they either end in 5 or 0, they always do. See, like, that's a zebra boom. We're just gonna straight up leak the thing. Until we save up another, like, $1,500. So scuffed, so scuffed indeed. Well, I mean, I don't know. We have to give Ice King all the advantages. He couldn't do it on his own. So, uh, we can take that, right? We're okay? We can take that? Yeah, we'll be fine. 29 lives? Please, please, hurry. Give me the money. I need, like, all the money in, like, the next two seconds. Inspiring Melody. We have, like, one more round. Okay, Inspiring Melody. <gasps> These zebras would have... I don't care at this point. I want to give him a fair chance. I'm cheating so much for you, dude. So you better do well. Because if you don't do well, I'm going to be mad. Because I cheated a lot to make this... To give you a slight chance. If he loses this round still, I'm blaming on you guys, okay? Anyone watching? If he loses, it's your fault now. Seriously. I don't know. The thing is, I know truthfully... That even if he makes it slightly past where Dungeon has been died, if he makes it to the Moab, he's doomed. And honestly, it doesn't really look like he's making it to the Moab anyways. Because you know what? You know how I originally said how, I'm, uh, how Ice King, with like giving him attack buffs and that stuff, doesn't really work? Because it doesn't affect most of his projectiles? Well, the same thing I believe is true with how Texier or Jake's ability works. Pretty sure only his actual main freeze attack can now pop whites and zebras. Which is why he was still struggling so much against the whites and zebras. Uh, do I go for Big Freeze or do I just accept the fact that he's not beating Moabs and go for Monsters of Snow? I'm gonna go for Monsters of Snow, honestly. Because they suck, but at least they do something. I'm pretty sure we're not making it to Moabs. I mean, theoretically, I could try to sell Tuxedo Jake. I don't think he'll pop white balloons, but... Here's the thing, if I save up enough money, then I'll try, okay? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Also, when I used that continue, did we only go up to 100 lives? What's the deal with that? This isn't extreme mode, this is hard mode. I should go up to 150 lives. Whatever. Okay, let's test. If we sell you, can you still pop whites and zebras? I don't think you can, but if you can, that's cool. He shouldn't be able to. Not, none of his upgrades should pop whites and zebras. Yeah, he can. Okay, that's what I thought. Are we dead anyways? No, we're still alive. See, that's my point. A lot of his ice attacks don't pop them. So I don't know how the math works, but we do need it. We're gonna try our best with this, okay? You can do it, Tux- You can do it, Dun- Uh, not Tuxedo Jake. Not Dungeon Finn. You- uh, You can do it, Ice King. For whatever reason, your name is slipping my mind today. But I know you can do it. I know you have the potential. I have to give Ice King every chance possible to make sure he has at least a hope of winning this. Because right now... Uh, seriously though, what's the deal with the whites and zebras? They should work better, and you should be able to pop them better. How come you're still struggling so much against a single white balloon? I just need him to be level 10. Really, Ice King, you just need to be level 10 so you can just straight up pop the whites and zebras on your own. No special needs, just straight up being able to pop them. Don't need to give you a tuxedo jake, hmm? See, but let's think of all the challenges I can do now that I can just say, hey, there's a slight advantage, but now any we can make them pop any balloon type. One of these days, I'm going to redo every single one tower only. It probably will only happen once they reach level 10, which is probably not going to happen for like another year and a half, but one of these days it's going to happen and it's going to be great. I'm telling you now, it's going to be great. Can we do it? Can he do it, actually? There's only one more round. Wait a sec. Is Ice King actually going to do better? Or with, all, with enough advantages, is Ice King actually going to win? He is, isn't he? Well, call as you will. Um, did Ice King win or did he lose horribly? Up to you. He either lost on, like, round 25 because stupid white balloons. Or he didn't lose on round 25 because he beat round 41. 
But 42, he's probably dead. We'll activate the ability just to be safe. But look at that Moab DPS. It's enough. Wait a sec. What? What? Is he actually going to beat hard mode for me? Okay, I now consider... I say this quite a few times in challenges. If I cheat a little and give a tower a bit of an advantage, but they actually get me the medal, I'm more than happy. Because obviously it's a bit scuffed, but getting the medal is still a big part of the point. So if we can still get the medal, that's pretty good. And it looks like we're actually going to beat this with only one continue and a lot of scuff. Oh no, there's more Moabs. What? What? No! 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 Yeah, so I just want the medal. That's my answer right now. What am I doing? You may ask whatever you want. I want the medal. I'm not doing this again. I've done like three challenges on this map and we've lost all of them. I'm tired of it. Can you please just straight up win the thing? For once. Please tell me you can do this, Dungeon Finn. Please tell me you can pop like three serums. We're still gonna die, aren't we? That's the craziest part. We're probably still gonna lose this. No. It was such a long pause. Just no. What? Why did this happen? Why? Why is this? <laughs> what? What? Did, did, did Ice King just win then? On his own? At least against those last three Moabs? I hate you, RNG. Why are you a thing? At least, he, at least he gave me Cosmic Essence, which I actually am going to double because it's pretty valuable, but... At least he gave me the Cosmic Essence, but just why? Why would you do that to me, RNG? Why would you make me waste continues? Yeah, I should have just used Super Monkey at the start. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll be back in a second. There we go, full Cosmic Essence. It's awesome. It's terrific. Um, yeah. So, I actually just watched a 45 second candy... Candy Crush ad. I don't know why. My brain is... No. Candy Crush, why do your ads still exist? I don't want your ads to exist. So why do they have to exist still? It's my only complaint. Candy Crush, remove your ads from existence. Thank you. Also, why was it 45 seconds and more idols? Is there an event going on that I'm not aware of? Are idols just, like, increase drop rate by, like, a thousand percent or something? I've gotten so many idols lately. Super Monkey, your way to level 10 is happening way faster than it should. Um, but yeah. It was a 45 second ad and I'm very annoyed by that. Why? I didn't even know they could show you a 45 second ad. I cannot remember the last time I got an ad that was that long. 30 seconds, fine. Even 35 maybe, but that long? 40? 45 seconds. It's been so long since I've had one of those ads. So yeah, Super Monkey, 11 of 200. You're, you're making progress. And then our other people, obviously, yeah, we're out here. We have to collect some more Cosmic Essence. We need the more character items. Maybe, maybe that'll be a video or a challenge one day soon. Gotta keep working on all our quests. Uh, but yeah, have a wonderful day. Please consider subscribing if you're new here and have been watched, or if you've been watching a couple videos and have been enjoying them. Same thing, if you want to like it, just an extra reminder in case you didn't earlier. Yes, I'm looking at you. Blank, blank name. Whoever you are, I'm looking at you. I'm actually looking at no one, but still... My mind is thinking of you, sort of. Your silhouette, maybe. Probably not. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!